Good morning, family. Hey, we're going to have a show. I want to say first grade of Mojo. And we're going to be talking about whole grains. But using whole grains as a metaphor for a whole person. The question is, are you operating in the world as a whole person? Right? So, once again, Greta Moja, see you at the show. Family, family. Today is Umoja, also known as Unity. Um, it's a day of truth. Uh, that's the uh, that's the meiotic principle, the Hermetic law for the day is mentalism. The male name is Quojo. The female name is Adawa. What's up, Miss Sheila? Great morning to you. Great day. Great day. So, hope you got your water ready. Get your water. Let's get it. Great emoji to you. Mm. Oh, man, I feel good. I feel good. I mean, I woke up at two this morning. And I'm not really tired. I was able to get some of my breathing exercises in this morning. Y'all doing your breathing exercises, I hope, right? They help that lymphatic system get rid of some of the uh, some of the poisons and toxins in your system. Those that don't have breathing exercises. Check me out on Gumroad, gum.co forward slash H-A number two T-I-M. I got a breathing exercise for you. It's called the eye shade breath. It helps clean out your system. Now, for those, once again, that's new, that might see this later on, I'm experimenting with chloro oxygen. Now, I will be doing my update on uh, black seed oil. I'm thinking sometime this week because I'm trying to figure out how to do it because I know a lot of people going to be kind of disappointed with my review. You know what I'm saying? But I need y'all to understand this is only the first tab because I'm about to go on um, another regimen of it because it is a, a great cleaner. I will say that. But there's a lot of hype with a lot of this stuff. Now, this chloro oxygen, this chloro oxygen, 
Um, I felt the effects. My body's adjusting, and that's part of the issue. Uh, my body, you know what I'm saying? I adjust the stuff real quick. So I only got a couple of days to really get um, the effects of something. And so I could really talk about it after that. It's just normal. So we got our 32 ounces in there. Let me correct that. I got my 32 ounces in. I don't know how much you decide to drink for yourself, but I I want to start off with 32 ounces plus a little bit I use to get my body jump started when I first wake up. And I think that's probably why I'm feeling real a lot better this morning. morning I'm doing the Justice League also known as lemon lime and ginger as you can see if you look up there what I'm doing now is experiment with allowing the um, ambrosia to process the root, the whole root rather than breaking the root down I'm placing the whole root in it like I'm doing the ginseng so I can see what the effect um, how different this will be so it has lemon and lime in it now I got the old ginger I want to see how is it how the effect it will work um, health wise as well as taste wise now this lemon lime and ginger is not usually super active but this batch has been super active since I put this ginger in there I can't wait to eat the ginger afterwards So, once again, um, that ambrosia is basically kombucha, and uh, I get my probiotics through, uh, through this process. So, um, first, toasting the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator, we call on that great force. Um, we're grateful, once again, to be able to start a new week. Um, so, we toast that creator for allowing this to happen. We toast the creator for flowing through us and allowing us to be able to recognize it in other people, even when they're acting crazy. Um, we toast that creator. And with that, we say, I shake. From there, we move on to our personal ancestors, uh, all those individuals who um, invested time in us to make us who we are. We, we toast them and we lift them up. Um, we remember those personal ancestors and we thank them for the strength and the blessings that they have um, bestowed upon us by being in our lives. We want to toast those that um, whispered words of power, and told us stories about our family and about who we were. Um, we toast them. We toast the millions that it took in order for us to even be here. If you just take, go back 20 generations, you'll realize what I mean. If you do the math and just go back 20 generations, it took millions of people over generations to be in the exact right time, right place at the right time to create you, to make you. So for you to be running around here thinking that you are an accident, dog, it's the math, the mathematics who can can disprove that right there. So we toast those ancestors. Um, I'm gonna go down my family line. If anybody out there has people in their family line they want me to salute, I'll do that as well. Miles Brown, Ms. Aaron, Robert the Texana Davis, Ernie Brown, Senior, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Christopher, Fanny Gatson, not me, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, John Villar, Jamon Jones. Jeremiah Tappan, Yusef Weston, um, Elder Harrison, Elder Donaldson, Dr. Marianne Williams, Normal X, 
Spat my out rock. I'm out to do Pittman now. I think his name is Elder Farmer. He's been on my mind. Um, I took a trip with him one time. I think it's Elder Farmer. Toast him. I say. Um, that's about it for me today. So we toast and we say I say. From there we toast this moment, which is emoja, which is unity. It's a day of truth. We're looking for unity, truth. Mentalism, which is the hermetic law, which means that all is mental, right? So we're looking for certain proofs today, right? So one of the focuses is mentalism, and we'll talk about that if you catch some of the old shows, right? Some of the old um, uh, podcasts or, or broadcasts, or whatever these are called, vlogs, I guess, all right? So we toast it, and we say, I shake, because this is where our power is. Last but not least, we toast our children, our children's children onto affinity because we are responsible for the next seven generations, family, right? And if we live our life like that, and that's what I'm going to kind of talk about today. Um, for those that want to catch the YouTube uh, video, today we're going to be talking about whole grains. But I'm using whole grains as a metaphor for a whole being, a whole person, a whole you. You know what I'm saying? Are you operating as a whole you? Are you operating as a process you? You know what I'm saying? Because these grains, you know, they get a bad rap. Like a lot of us, we get a bad rap because we're operating as a process being rather than a whole being, right? Like a lot of these grains, they're operating as process grains and they're operating and they're destroying our bodies, right? So... You know, um, so we toast our children, our children's children, onto infinity, and we ask that they be able to operate in wholeness. We ask that they operate in a whole mind, and we understand that everything that we lay down, everything that we do, everything that we study, all the actions that we take affect them, and we toast them in advance, and we say, I say, from there I toast you. I, try, I toast your struggles and your triumphs. I, I toast and I ask the ancestors to move on any issues that you have in your life right now. And as well as mine as well. It's, you know, got to be selfish sometimes. So we toast and we say, I say, I say, I say. I wish you peace, power, joy, and one of you. Might be onto something here. Now the ginger is not as strong as when I grind it up, but I'm asking if I leave it there a little bit longer, because the ginger is one of the things that really attract people to um, the Justice League um, or lemon lime and ginger, right? So um, it's kind of mellow in here. Still need work, work in progress. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna stick with the ground up one right now. All right, so I'm about to make, about to make my drink. Where you at? And then I'm gonna let y'all go. Facebook, don't wanna hold y'all up. <coughs> Hope I ain't break the glass. Hope I ain't wake up my girls. Today is the first day of summer school, and um, it's. Miss Sasha's first day as an unofficial first as an unofficial kindergarten. I'm gonna see how she's doing in school. Um and then y'all can expect another show from Miss Gina soon, I'm expecting. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not really planned, but Miss Miss Gina do her thing. And you want to encourage your kids to do their thing, y'all. So that's cinnamon. First, I put the vinegar in. That's that ambrosia vinegar. 
soon will be available. I just gotta get my orders to a point where I'm able to just let a whole batch brew in the way that I needed to brew so that I could get the uh, get the vinegar because it takes a little bit longer actually a lot longer to make the vinegar so if I got people out there that want it y'all let me know and I'll just be inspired to go and just let it sit oh. so I'm sorry uh, I put cinnamon with it, cayenne, turmeric, coconut oil. I don't have any, um, <coughs> it works. I don't have any lemon today. Oh, I got some lemon lime. So let's do that. We already got one form of ambrosia in here. Might as well go and get some lemon lime. Now the lemon and the lime both work on the liver. And we want the liver to, uh, we need our liver to uh, help us rid our body of some toxins. And I know some of y'all was out kicking it because there was a game on last night. I watched the first half. Don't know who won. put no money in my pocket either way. Alright. So I'm going to drink this. I'm going to let y'all go Facebook. I don't think this is going to be my major, my major one. But we coming up with a detox. I got to talk with my team. Coming up with a detox. Um... I'm about to pass this around and see if if it could pass mustard, right? But a hundred years. The lemon lime made that jump off. Peace, Facebook. Have a great day. Um, y'all see, I'm trying to give y'all a little break so that y'all can find exactly where we start our discussion so that the daily toast um you know what i'm saying the part i do with facebook and the part i do with y'all right you know what i'm saying as far as uh you know when we talk about the information so once again i want to remind you the day is a mojo great emoji to you um unity that's the um, definition of um, emoji um the day is the modic principle we look for truth um the hermetic law of mentalism. Male name is Kojo. Female name is Adua. Or Adua. Um, so, today, I want to talk a little bit about whole grains, right? So, uh, I'm reading a little bit about it, you know. And once again, I'm not an expert, so I will hope that everybody <coughs> that watches this will do their own research and um, determine what's good for you, right? Um, like, I eat grains, and um, I wanted to know, you know, what's good, you know, because I'm hearing good things, bad things. Some people say you shouldn't eat them. Some people say you should eat them. So, um, as I was researching 
the whole grain piece, I started recognizing some of the issues that we have in our community because we talked about um, in the last two days, we talked about um, food and culture and how um, the culture, we're becoming a little bit more processed. Our food has become a little bit more processed, which is producing processed people, right? People who feed rather than eat. Eating is a cultural thing. Feeding is <coughs> feeding is um, uh, animal, animalistic um, desire that we have to fulfill, right? So we feed. It don't matter what I feed on. You know what I'm saying? When I'm eating, it, it brings me. Um, it's, it's it's symbolic of something bigger than just me putting energy in my body, right? Because a lot of us, you know, even those of us that are in the conscious, in the conscious corners, are are still feeding. You know what I'm saying? We're consciously feeding. We're consciously looking for the proper energy for our bodies, right? We're feeding, right? We're not really eating. We're not connecting to 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 the culture, which is part of the problem, right? So on the day of Umoja, one of the questions that I had to ask for today was, um, who does your life belong to? I know that seems like a very simple question being today in a modern Western society. Of course, I know who my life belongs to, right? But I'm asking you from a cultural perspective, right? Uh, um, an unconquered cultural perspective, right? Who does your life belong to, right? I want you to think about that, right? Because today is the day of Umoja. It's a day of unity, right? Why was unity an important principle in African culture, right? See, because there's a different framework for who your life belongs to when you start exercising your traditional culture. Right now, your life belongs to you. I asked my son, I said, who does your life belong to? He said, me. And I understood his answer. Right? I said, yeah, I guess in the way we're educating you now, right, you know, we're, we're feeding you that idea, right? We're feeding you that idea. That's the idea of you, you being fed, right? So you're becoming a process being. So you, you, you possess yourself, you know, but the question, you know, the, the, the issue that we got to wrestle with, family this and I want you to really think about this right if if once again it took millions of individuals to make you over the last 40 generations we just let's just say 40 generations right 40 generations of people being in the exact right place at the exact right time in order to create you you are the highest apex of the evolution of of your line, of your bloodline, of your family, of your tribe, you you represent the very best, right? You represent all those that came before you, all those who may have sacrificed for you. You are at the apex, and you look and you say in this Western world, my life belongs to me. And I know. This slaps right in the face. What I'm about to say slaps right in the face of everything that you have been taught while you've been here. But you arrogant bastard, excuse me, right? Right? I mean, we are arrogant. My life belongs to me. I live the majority of my life believing that my life belonged to me. When in fact, my life was bought and paid for by the blood and the sweat of others. My very, the very place that I exist in, the space that I hold right now was bought and paid for by others. And I have the audacity to believe or believed that my life is mine. My life belongs to my family. 
My life belongs to my tribe. Whoever that may be. I'm still building that. But right now it belongs to my family. And y'all have we have to understand, and I know this is gonna hurt some of y'all, right? Because this means that you can't go out and act the goddamn fool, right? You can't go out and, and, and just do what you want to do. You can't go and just destroy your body. You can't just go and fuck up your emotions. And you can't just go and do everything that you feel that you have the right to do because this is your life. No, it's not your life, and that's part of the problem. You have been processed. You have become processed. You have been broken down. Right, so let's get into these grains, right? Because I want to. I'm using these as a metaphor for, for emoji. I'm using them for a metaphor today, right? So I'm looking at these grains because this is what brought this thought. Out. See, this is kind of crazy, right? But I tell them it's crazy, right? Because I look at stuff and I get other things, right? And I'm like, y'all got to understand, I'm not even this deep into help shit. I'm not, right? I, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know. I, I do I do my exercises. I do my breathing exercises, right? I eat, you know, I, I don't eat a lot of, you know, I, I stopped eating meat years ago. I recently, within the last eight or nine years, started eating fish, you know, and I love eggs and I love real cheese, real cheese, right? Right? Now, so, I'm not even really into the health piece. Until I really start breaking down and saying, boom, I need to do this in Guza Samba Challenge because I started noticing once again as I started dealing with the ambrosia, right? I got people my age dying from heart attacks, strokes, and diabetes. You know what I'm saying? I got friends with diabetes, right? That I used to play with. Shit. They got diabetes, right? They can't. I mean, we, we, we can't even do nothing no more. We can't kick it no more, right? I got I got people um, um, falling down with uh, uh, um, what they call them uh, uh, immune um, autoimmune diseases and shit. And I'm like, I'm looking into this. I said, well, damn. You know what I'm saying? You got all these diets out here and shit. You got people overweight, right? I'm sitting up here like, well, damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go out by myself. I'm, understand what I'm saying? I want to live with my peer group. You know what I'm saying? I want my peer. I want. I want my friends, and I want some of my family that's the same age as me. I want us all to just live a long, healthy life. I want us leaving here, right? I want us leaving here being able to build a legacy. I want us to be able to have, because this is, this is one of the things that's, that I'm starting to see happening. I'm starting to see a lot of my friends get the wisdom, but now they don't have the energy to act on the wisdom that we have earned. Right? Now, you know, the only thing they can do is give the wisdom away. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo. Now is the time for us to really step into the roles of leadership and the roles of teaching and start guiding young people. Not only guiding young people, but work with them to make things happen. But we can't do that if, if the thumb of our existence, which is our body, is messed up. I can't drink. I, can't, I, I ain't got a goddamn thumb. I can't bring up, pick up the glass. To, to, you know what I'm saying? I need to counterbalance to pick up the glass so that I could drink the ambrosia. That's how many, many of us live in our life like this. Some of us with other fingers missing and shit. You, and the point I'm saying is, listen, many of us are living processed lives. Right? It's been processed. It's not real. Right? The, our, the, our, our realities are processed. Our thoughts about realities are processed just like these grains. So let's get into these grains. So, now first off, let me read this. Last month, the American Society for Nutrition, I never thought I'd be putting on glasses to read and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on that too. I'm going to come over for, I'm coming up with Ambrosia for that. Reaffirmed in a report that fiber-rich whole grain 
grains lower the risk of diabetes and heart disease. Media outlets such as Reuters duly reported the news, but many failed to point out uh, a crucial detail. Some whole grains may do nothing to reduce disease risk. In fact, many foods legally marketed as a whole grain could actually harm health. But I tell him I thought she was going to tell us about the benefits of whole grain. Hold on. The term whole grain might evoke an image of whole intact grain. That is, a fiber-rich coating of bran surrounding a starchy endosperm and a small reproductive kernel known as the germ. But in definition, but in a definition created in 1999 by the American Association of Serial Chemists International, an organization of food industry professionals and scientists, and adopted by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in 2006, whole grain refers to any mixture of bran, endosperm, and germ in proportion one would expect to see in an intact grain. What that means is, what that mean, <coughs> what that mean is, what they have been telling us is whole grain, that they've been selling this whole grain, is not whole grain. It's just whole grain in proportion. These motherfuckers have, they, they're playing mind games with reality, right? So they put whole grain on some shit. It is not whole grain. It's processed. All right, so now let's look at the benefits of whole grain. Because I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to read the mind fuck. I'm not going to mind fuck y'all. I'm not going to do that, right? Because this is what's been going on, right? They're processing your mind. They're processing your food. Everything is is processed. And the only person that's not putting yourself through a process, you need to process yourself. Right? Start putting yourself through a process. A process so that you can become whole. Right? So that you can bring air. So that we could bring the intuition, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical together so that we could punch this shit in the face. Listen, tips of ripping the ben reaping the benefits of whole grain. Eating more whole grain is an easy way to add a layer of health insurance to your life. Whole grains are packed with nutrients, including protein. Now, this is the whole, real whole grain. Fiber, B vitamins, antioxidants, and trace minerals. Iron, zinc, copper, and magnesium. A diet rich in whole grains has been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity, and some forms of cancer. Whole grain diets also improve bowel health by helping to maintain a regular bowel movement and promote growth of healthy bacteria in the colon. We've been talking about that, probiotics, right? Yet, only 10% of Americans consume the recommended minimum of three servings a day. Why? For one thing, it's not always easy to tell just which foods are whole grain. Scan the bread, cereal, or snack aisles, and virtually every package touts the whole grain goodness. But not all of them actually are whole grain. Terms like multi-grain, 100% wheat. Organic, pumpernickel, bran, and stone ground may sound healthy, but none actually indicate the product is whole grain. Further, many Americans have the perception that whole grain just don't taste good or that it's difficult to work them into the daily diet. To help you start reaping the benefits of a diet rich in whole grains. This is from WebMD. Got the skinny on how to tell which foods are made of whole grains along with suggestions on how to fit the recommended serving into your healthy eating plan. Now, you want to make sure that you get in the kernel. Hold on. Alright. Whole grain family.
key on them. All right, whole grains, they whole, right? You know, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Um, whole grains. Right. Whole grain. Round up. It's cornmeal. All right? Showed you, showed you these um, yesterday. Right, I want y'all to understand, right? Grains, right? A lot of people say they're not healthy for us, but when we eat them in a whole, right? When we eat them in a whole, we get we get those we get qualities from the earth. These are staples. And I spoke to you about staples yesterday. These products held civilization together for millennium. Not only that. Right? They are the foundation of culture. They are the foundation of culture. Every last one of these grains got myths associated with them. How either they were the God or they were given to the people by the gods. You understand what I'm saying? So when people are telling you, hey, you ain't supposed to really eat grains, you know what I'm saying? Grains ain't good for you. Listen. You know, like I said, with all that, even with what I'm saying, take it with a grain of salt, do your own research, right? These come from the earth, right? And they serve a purpose, right? So when you start separating them and processing them, right? And you separating the germ from the endosperm, from the brand, and you're removing the fiber, right? And you're selling all those things separately. They do damage, right? They do damage, but when you work with the whole grain, right? It empowers you. You heard it helps fight diabetes. You know what I'm saying? But what we get, we get processed bread, white bread, or, or wheat bread that they, that's just white bread with some um, brown dye on it and shit, right? And we're not looking at the ingredients and looking, all right, cool, is this whole wheat? You know what I'm saying? Is this wheat for real? Or is this a piece of wheat, right? So, whole grains contain all edible parts of the grain, including bran, germ, endosperm. The whole grain may be used intact or recombined. We don't even want to recombine. We just want the whole damn grain. All right? The whole damn grain. That's it. Right? Don't even want to recombine. So, we got to find ways to, uh, of, of defining when it's just like, boom, I got wheat. I, they took from the wheat. They grind the wheat down, got the whole goddamn thing in here, and all this, and they made this bread. That's all we want, right? If you're going to eat the bread, right? Whole grain corn. All right, hold on. To recognize whole grains, keep this list handy when you go grocery sh to the grocery store and choose any of the follow grains. Whole grain corn. Whole oat. Oatmeal, right? Whole. Popcorn. Thank God I like popcorn. Brown rice. Whole rye. Whole grain barley. That's in here. Wild rice. That's in here. Buckwheat. That might be in here. Let's see. Nope. No buckwheat. Try to kale. Bulgur. That's cracked wheat. Millet. Kiona, sorghum. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something on sorghum, and 100% whole wheat flour. All right. So that's what you're looking for, family. All right. Um. So I pretty much covered it, right? So we try not to become. Uh. And properly processed beings, because in, in some form or fashion, we all got to process ourselves. But we don't need to be processed by others who don't have our best interests at heart, right? We don't need to become processed, right? Just like our food. We don't need our food to be processed. We need our food whole, right? People are sick. People are mentally ill because they're getting pieces of nutrition. They're not getting the whole thing, right? 
you know what I'm saying? And they're not able to operate as a whole being because they're not being treated as a whole being. They're not being fed as a whole being. They're, being, they're not being fed. That's the, they're being fed, right? They're not eating. When we eat, we partake in the culture. Here, you know what I'm saying? I partake with my Native American brothers and sisters and even some of my Native American ancestors. I'm connected with the culture. I'm connected with the ancestors as my um, my elder Albino, Elder Albino tells me, La Couture Cure, culture cures, right? You know what I'm saying? Brains, culture, brains, culture, right? You know what I'm saying? Hell, I mean, rice and all that, we was eating that over there. But yo, family, I'm going to go um, process this. It's time for me to get my son up so he can do his studies. And with that, I am out. Y'all have a great day. I will see you on Coochie Chocolate later. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And... For those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.